Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden project. So after months of searching, I finally, at the very end of the season, got my hands on a milkweed plant. I have been searching all season. Um, of course, milkweed comes in many different types of plants and it is the host plant or the food plant that monarch butterflies prefer. And since monarchs have been going extinct, extinct, the entire milkweed for monarchs project has been born. People all over the country and all over have been trying to plant milkweed, give these butterflies um, a food source, a home source, a place to lay their eggs and to grow before they migrate. And it only works, well, it works absolutely best if you use native milkweed to your area. So I'm in Alabama, zone 8B, and I have been searching. I found plenty of milkweed seeds, but none that are native to my area. So finally, after searching, 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 I found two plants. One didn't look great, so I bought one, one milkweed plant at my local nursery. Um, I actually filmed that for you, so we will be going over to the nursery you will see it is like dead like there's nothing there they have flats of pansies i literally bought these pansies from the nursery a couple days ago and when i went back because they had milkweed no pansies all gone so like it is the end of the season neither of these plants looked great i picked the best one um i would have gotten both but i just didn't quite have the money right now. I know they weren't that expensive, but your girl just bought a bunch of, bunch of pansies. So you can only do what you can do. Ideally, you want to have five to six milkweed plants. They get really big. So about two feet wide by two to three to four feet even tall per plant. So these are big plants. They bloom a lot. This is why that lamb's is never going to grow. Bitty, bitty. Um, so they are big plants. They do get rather big, but as the monarch eggs hatch and the caterpillars, they take the flowers down, then they'll rebloom. So if you want your one plant to survive and to give enough food for the monarchs, you need several of them. So my goal is I've ordered some more seeds now that I know which type to get, and I'm going to try um, winter sowing them in my milk jugs. Hopefully I'll have enough to plant five to six plants next year. If not, once my one plant grows, I will hopefully be able to harvest from seeds next year and keep growing my little grove. Um, ideally, we'll have a whole host of them and have a whole bunch of monarch butterflies. But like I said at the beginning of the video, it is just the wrong time of year for this. Our first frost is rapidly approaching. I talked with the guy at the nursery at length, and he said, you know, milkweed dies back to the ground every year. And so plant it, I'll wait for it to die back, and then I will mulch over it pretty good. Normally that's fine, but since it's just not rooted in yet, we'll give it a little extra help. Mulch over it, and then next season, it should come back big and beautiful, and helicopters agree. Oh man, they're practicing, hi bitty bitty. And hopefully we will have monarch butterflies, maybe not next year, season after, we'll see. Sometimes it takes a minute for the monarchs to find the milkweed, but we're going to give it a try. We're going to go plant this guy. We're going to pray to the milkweed gods that he survives. And if not, hopefully some of our seeds will grow. I will do a video about that later on. I'm going to wait until a little later in the season, maybe January to plant those so that I can plant them out in the landscape as soon as they're big enough. So for now, let's go around the corner and I will show you where I'm going to plant these. Come on, Betty. Come help me.
these little kales. I can't find any tiny ones though. They have plenty of the bigger ones. Oh, look at all the mums. They're on sale, baby, because they're all blooming. It's not what we're here for. Come on, we're here for milkweed. Well, they moved the poppies. Court mums on sale. I almost got some of these the other day. They're just so pretty, like such a pretty color. And the poppies, these are going to be like kind of a mix, but they're a cool weather plant here, which I thought was interesting. All right. The milkweed was over here somewhere, so we're going to go find it. Oh, man, they have really, really changed things around. There it is. Like, even in the last week, they've torn stuff out. All right, so these are native to Alabama, so that's what you want. First full sun. That's 12 to 18 tall. Now we are going to get one. I think we're going to get this front one. They die back in the winter, so I'm going to get it and plant it. You ready, Biddy? This poppy is almost open. We still have plenty of bubble gum. Proven winners. They really do come back in our climate, which is fun. Oh, they've got some others. These aren't vistas, I don't believe. They are pretty though. They literally had just flats and flats of pansies and violas filling this whole area three days ago. It was crazy how fast things are selling right now. Okay. All right, we got it. I go home. Plant it up. Have to show you the nursery when it's in more of its uh, glory, but they still have plenty to plant for fall and winter down here. See you at home. Here's our milkweed. So I'm going to go ahead and plant it here. This spot gets morning sun, afternoon shade, and I'm gonna have a little path that comes down and then the air conditioner here, I'm gonna have a fence that's connecting everything. So like I said at the beginning, ideally I'd like to have five or six of these plants, if not more, and they get pretty big. Each plant gets about two feet wide by two to three feet tall. So I'm thinking that we can kind of go around the fence, come down here and in front of this guy, maybe over even a little in front of this fence and have a whole grove of milkweed here. And since I have butterfly bushes and iris and I'll have supertunias and other annuals here, and coneflowers and salvia right on the other side. This should be a great spot for butterflies. Plus it's right by a lot of metal structures where they can build their 
cocoons and catalysts. Girl, Betty Betty. all set. Now these clams do die back to the ground in the winter. Um, so once he's died back to the surface, I will go ahead and mulch over him since planting him so late in the season. And hopefully that will give him the strength he needs to make it to next season. But like I said at the beginning, if not, I am going to sow a bunch of seeds and hopefully I will have plenty of plants to plant next springtime once they've matured. Whew, I cannot believe I looked all season and I finally found this plant two weeks before the first frost. So plus only one, I want a whole grove of them. So we will give it a shot and I will give you an update next spring on how he survives. Good luck, little milkweed. Good luck. Come on, Biddy.